I'm Dave Calloway. I'm an emergency medicine attending at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center, and I am uh, the director of the Operational Medicine Institute. We're a group of uh, former military physicians who are affiliated with Harvard University that work primarily in disaster and humanitarian uh, relief efforts. Disaster management is something that Dave has studied and really specialized in with his operational medicine group. And providing leadership in chaotic situations is something that I'm used to just from my time as an infantry officer in Iraq. So we put those skills to use and we set up a, 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 a command structure. When there is a disaster, you are always going to see an influx of informal and independent medical missionaries, whether they are associated with church groups or academic medical institutes like ours was. So the question is, how are you going to coordinate that? There were literally uh, volunteer surgeons from the states fighting over who got to use the operating room, while Haitians outside didn't even have any food. And so what was really required was not more doctors right away, but just some people to take charge of the situation. And that's what we did for the first week we were down there. Then when we came to the DR Haiti border, there were many people delivering care, but what wasn't happening was we weren't gathering medical information or information about people electronically. And we could see that that would go a long way to preventing medical error, and even more importantly, to protecting children. So it's not just about saving lives in the first few days after the quake. That's what everybody saw on TV. But for the next several months, and for many people the next several years, they're going to require follow-on care and without basic medical records to stay with these patients and explain what had happened and what initial care had been provided, there was a real serious gap that, um, that needed to be filled and, and quite frankly threatened a lot of lives. So we took an off-the-shelf iPhone application. We then created workarounds to take a non-disaster application and create a disaster application from it taking a picture of every single patient and child and then registering them. So this was a good way of generating the basics of who are the people here, what are their characteristics, and what kind of need do they have. So here you have the building blocks of accountability, more efficient care, and definitely safer care. Without it, it just was much more chaotic and much more burdensome on the overtaxed responders who were already in the field. It's my hope that we'll have something like this, which is an electronic, uh, mobile medical record on the first day of whatever the next disaster is to protect kids and to protect the victims of those earthquakes or natural disasters from further harm. I think the unique thing about our team is that we all brought different capabilities and it enabled us to really adapt uh, what OMI had been doing in the past to a completely new challenge. I don't think Dave ever envisioned having the Operational Medicine Institute develop an iPhone application to do electronic medical records, but we were able to do that and that's what we're doing now. There are many great ideas that die on the vine. The unique thing about the Zuckerman community and the Harvard community is if a great idea is put out or a good idea is put out, there are so many people of action that will seize on that as an opportunity to be involved. It really allows even the smallest kernel of a good idea to grow. All of us went down there for the same reasons. We brought different skills and different backgrounds, but we we're all there just to help. That has been the foundation of this project the whole time. <laughs>